Okay. So real talk. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. So some of these cards have now since changed a bit. Um, so here's the thing. As you can see, Nick Fury. Oh, actually, I need to. Yeah. Nick Fury has changed. Nick Fury is no longer a 5'7. He is a, he's now a um 4 4 5. So so here are my thoughts. <laughs> Surfer can still stay where he's at. Come like cuz what we do here is we're combining how are they right now but also how were they when they came out, right? So if 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 what they if how they are now trumps that, that is great. First of all, Nick Fury has to go back down here and he was up here now. So uh, I, I honestly think, so let's take Nick Fury off. Let's also take Nimrod off. And I think, and Hit Monkey as well. Hit Monkey was so fucking OP. He was OP, right? He is no longer OP. Everything else has kind of stayed where it's at, right? Nothing else has really changed. Um. Honestly, actually, no, I forgot about one thing. This son of a bitch right here, Miles Morales, he had his heyday. You guys remember he had his heyday uh, for about a month and a half, that discard movement deck that they had? That stuff was crazy. I honestly would have to put him as an A-tier card now just because of that deck. They did, they did change some stuff, so it's not as viable anymore, but that deck was crazy. You know what I mean? That deck was crazy. So I don't know if I should put him here. He's got to be A or B now, just because of that deck. We made this right before that deck came out. <laughs> and we put him so low. But I feel like he's just like, he popped off on that deck and that gives him a little bit of credibility. I'm making him an A tier. He's not like super crazy good. He relies on a lot of cards to be good too. But a 1-5, if you consider this a one car, a one cost card, that's, a, that's an amazing card. And as a matter of fact, it is... You can technically call Miles Morales the best one cost car because he, he only costs one cost, right? He, um, he only costs one, but he can't be Shang-Chi. No, I mean, he can't be, um, he can't be Killmonger. He's a one cost card that can't be Killmonger. Now he doesn't get buffed by stuff like Kazar, but you don't need it. He's a five, he's a five drop. Like he's, he's good. He's dropping five power in the lane for, for low, low cost of one, one spin energy. That's fantastic. All right, now, um, if we're going for cards that also changed, um, well, this card went from a 5-5 five five to a 5-6, and Nimrod became pretty crazy. Um, Shuri deck started popping off with Galactus and all sorts of stuff. I honestly would have to move him up because we had him down here before. I have to move him up a ring. I move him up to B now. I think he's a B, a B cost card now. I mean, I think he's a B uh, tier card. He's not like super fantastic, but he's also not bad. You know what I mean? So I, I would have to put him up here with like Daredevil. Like how good Daredevil is. Daredevil's not good, but he's not bad. He, when he does his job, he does his job. And Nimrod does a hell of a good job. And I have lost a lot to Nimrod decks recently. So there you go. You agree to disagree. Iceman, Screw Tempo, Old Kitty could be a 10 power. Spider Ham can pose a deck itself. Wait, what? Oh, are you talking about Miles Morales? Well, Spider-Ham is no longer a one-drop call. He's a two-drop call. Uh, Kitty can be a 10 power, but she got nerfed recently. You know what I mean? Wait, was Kitty a, was Kitty a season pass card? No, Kitty was not season pass. Yeah, for best one-drop, uh, Iceman, very good, but you also don't know what he's going to hit. And I'm talking about just like playing, you know? Yeah, she was not a season pass star. I'm, I'm, I'm joking. New, new kitty can still be, can still get to six, seven. Ooh, yeah, but still though, is that you have to play her constantly, right? And she can still be killmonger. You know, I think Kitty's still. If you compare, I think I still think Miles Morales is a great one drop card if you consider him to be a one drop. But he's not really a one drop. So, you know, you don't have to worry about the fact of getting Killmonger. Then you got five power that's going to stay there. Like, what are they going to do? What are they going to do with that card? They can move it with, um, they can move him with Magneto. But that's about it, man. Kitty can move, though. So, still got a player. I think, I think that, 
I'm not saying that Miles Morales is the best one drop, but he's one of the best if you consider him to be a one drop car. That's all I'm saying. Now, this car right here is better than Miles. I think Nebula, ooh, it's kind of hard to say if Nebula needs to be a, up here or down here. Nebula, if you notice, Nebula's in so many decks now. I almost want to make Nebula go to a mega level, but it's kind of hard. It's like one of those, it, it makes you have to play somewhere, right? If you don't have Killmonger, right? You feel like Kitty is a is really a five toss because it's each turn to play. Yeah, kind of. And Kitty also makes, you have to play her so much that, yeah, I think Kitty messes things up more than Miles does. At least when you play him, you ain't got to worry about on turn on turn six that I have to use five energy plus this, or you have to bounce him or anything. You're not going to bounce Miles. There's no reason to, right? Yeah, I think Nebula is definitely an A tier, most definitely. You think, you think she's, you think she's a mega level Ike? She is bargain Jean Grey. She does make you have to play somewhere. Otherwise, this car can get to what, like a one, one, um, one seven. Is that what it is? I think one seven, right? You don't have to play her each turn. She can be used to control priority, etc. But you know, you all clearly have your opinion that I am. <laughs> I mean, Clipper Fury. I'm not saying she's not like a good card. I think Kitty is a fantastic card. I mean, but the thing about it is that we're comparing her to Miles Morales. I think I think Kitty is a better car than Miles Morales. You know what I mean? I think Kitty is way better than Miles Morales. <laughs> but I'm saying like, if you were to say, oh, you know what, Spider Man, Miles Morales, let's say he's a one a one drop car. Okay, um, he can't be Killmonger, and he's just a one five drop. It's just just a simple car. He does simple stuff. Is Miles is so OP and great? Why is he in so few decks? Because he just served the he served the purpose back when he was in that discard deck that laid out like tons of power on that final turn, which was a totally BS deck. That's about it. <laughs> that, that's really it. Like Miles, Miles serves a purpose and he was, he was honestly, that deck was better than Kitty. That deck was better than Kitty uh, bounce when it, when it was there. I think that that discard deck was so crazy. I think, I think, I think that Miles is okay. Now look, I'm taking into account a deck that you don't even, you don't even, people don't even play anymore, right? You guys gotta think, we made this forever. Miles was down here. Miles was crystal tier. I'm giving this man a jump up to A because he needs it. I feel like he, he was, he was kind of, he, he did good. Now next go around, when we update this again, this dude's probably gonna be B tier. Trust me. Exactly, Clipper Fury. He, he, I know he's not the best. So you're not, you're not listening. You're not listening. Open your ears, buddy. He ain't the best one drop. I think that, I think Nebula's better than Miles Morales. I think that Kitty better than Miles Morales. And Miles is not a one drop. He's a four cost car. <laughs> you have him at C tier. I mean, I, I think that he just did good in that deck. That was it. That's, that's my opinion. That's it. Now, Nebula, I'm honestly thinking about putting Nebula as Omega level. I'm thinking about putting Nebula as on Omega level. Simply because Nebula was just like, she, she's, she's still a really great card. You can put Nebula in a lot of decks, just be like, oh yeah, you know, this is great. She does put pressure on the opponent. If you don't have Killmonger, you feel like you have to play somewhere. And just like Sunspot, she just, you have to think about making your opponent get overwhelmed. Making your opponent get overwhelmed because they have to think of all these different. Okay, if I play over here, I'm gonna do this. Oh, but no, his nebula is gonna grow by two points. Oh no, he has two nebulas. What am I supposed to do? You have to think about all these different things, man. Putting that on them is kind of crazy. And nebula can definitely go into any deck. She's an extra card. You're like, oh, I don't have enough one drops. Oh, I'll drop nebula in there. Oh, it, it, honestly, I love the thought of having Nebula because you used to only put Sunspot in, right? Sunspot used to be that card you would throw into every single deck because you were like, I need a one drop and Sunspot's the best one drop to, for, for the, let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, that, that Nebula comes in. Uh, uh, Nebula has taken so many games just from the sheer fact of that. I think that that is fantastic. Now, Hitmonkey. A change happened to Hit Monkey recently. Yo, did they not update this? Is this? This does not show his update. 
Let me see if I can find an update of Hit Monkey. I thought I I thought I grabbed the Hit Monkey. Um, I thought I grabbed the one. I might not have a Hit Monkey with three though. Okay, I don't have one with three. I'm gonna have to go find one real quick. We lost so many games and not calculate never the plus two. Yes, it's it's ridiculous really. Okay, I'm gonna grab this like I'm grabbing this from like snap.fan and I hate the fact that they don't let you get like PNGs. Like that always sucks to me. It always sucks to me that you can't like grab uh grab that. I don't think it's gonna let me just pull a card over there. Which kinda sucks. Yeah, no, it won't let me do that. Man, this, this 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 really sucks. I have to come all the way up here and go to like. Well, let's save this. Save, damn it! Fucking list, man. Save. Shit. Create this tier list. Edit. This is so fucking annoying, man. It's like the most annoying thing ever. Hit Monkey is great index. Okay. Okay. So Hit Monkey. I think that Hit Monkey is good and he's only good in Surfer decks, kinda now, right? That's really it. I think Surfer brings him up. So the thing about it is that was Hit Hitmonkey used to be like fantastic, but now, now because of the change that happened to him, he's no longer in bounce. So now he's only in in Surfer counter, I think, right? People still use Hitmonkey in bounce. I've never used him in there. And with Wong, I guess that is true. Hitmonkey is great index gear to ward him. He's not a utility card. So depending on your criteria, that can make him anywhere from A to C. Yeah, I, I don't think he's he's definitely not on mega level. He was never game changing to make people think a whole lot. I think that he was just really good. I, I think that I think that you're kind of right, Clipper Fury. I think in the middle is where I would put him. The thing about it is that I don't think we're I think that a lot of season pass cars have have like changed the game, you know. So let's think about this though. I think Hit Monkey can stay here. He's he's a good card. He's he's been indexed. I think he's always going to be viable and a good option. Bounce, bounce is not as good as it was anymore. But Ghost Spider now. Sorry, but Mouse should be lower. Nimrod is more versatile than him in his B tier. Um. The reason why I have people, people, look, look. So look. This is my tier list. <laughs> Don't you guys look you guys have to think of you guys are looking at the guy who's making decks that are fucking crazy Don't you guys you guys are thinking too deep into this you Guys thinking too deep into this Yes, I do think that Nimrod is better than miles But for a for for a period of time this son of a bitch was going crazy And that's that's why I have him up here silver surfer is not Omega level right now I feel like Silver Surfer just has such a great pull when he um Silver Surfer has such a great pull when he first came out. That's that's what I'm talking about. Like season pass cards overall. Miles makes wins. Nimrod uh, helped the Legion stuff a lot. That is true. Miles is now in the Legion deck too and doing pretty pretty decently. Looking at cool guy, but only because those glasses are reflected. But you're not on the screen. And uh, I mean, uh, technically, I'm on the screen still, so. Ah! <laughs> okay, 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 okay. But but honestly, though, I I think that, um, I think that Miles is okay up 
I think it's fine. Just, just kind of like Thor. Thor is a really good card, but you don't have to worry about um, like uh, things like um, like Thor is okay. He's not like super fantastic. So is Miles, and I think Nimrod is going to be a tier next time I do this tier list. Right now, I'm just thinking that he's he's okay. You know. I think that the upgrade they gave to him is good though. You gotta think that Nimrod just came from being, okay, you have to weigh two different things. How was the card? How is the card? That's what I'm weighing against because Nimrod was trash when he first came out. And now the change that they've given him, just one power boost, tremendous increase in, in Nimrod playability. People are winning way more games just because of that simple, like one point of power they added to him. So that's what I'm talking about. You have to wait against it because he was bad. He got pulled up there. Miles went crazy when he was in that deck. So that's what I'm going with. Phoenix Force. I feel like Phoenix Force, as much as I love, and I love this card. And I wish I could have, I wish I could have done a season pass tier list when, um, when he came out and he was a, um, a five, a five cost card. Cause now I think this son of a bitch can be a tier because, um, he just really could. Don't you put that on? Hey, yo, I love Phoenix Force, man. I love Phoenix Force. How many cards can bring cards back from the game? Phoenix Force needs more than two cards to play on to be viable. Um, I, I guess, but he, he just has such good. It, I mean, it just has such good like versatility once you get it though, right? You can, you can um, run away from Killmonger. Um, you can move it and things like human torch are great with it. You can also, you can, it, it copies the ability of whatever it just got laid out. You know what I mean? You think Nimrod over Phoenix force? Yo, no, I don't, I don't think so. I don't think so. I love both of those cards, by the way. At five, it was too clunky. I feel like that's what separates these two Nimrod versus Phoenix force. Imagine if Nimrod was a four cost car. Imagine if he was. If, if Nimrod was a four cost card, these cards would be here. They would be here, but he's not, he's not a four cost card. And because of that, he goes up here. And also I think that this card is just like up here too. I think Modok still stays because Modok is just, he just makes discard kind of, you know? Yeah, Nimrod is a four cost car BOP. But imagine, you, you can play Phoenix Force. And I mean, imagine if somebody, if you're playing a Nimrod uh, deck with <laughs> with this, if somebody snipes out your Yondu, if somebody Yondu snipes out your Nimrod, you play Phoenix Force on four, you got a four Nimrod. You know what I mean? This is that would that car would be fucking crazy. So so that's what I'm saying. Like Nimrod and Phoenix Force are good. They increase this card's power. They increase this card's. I mean, they decrease this card's cost. Two totally different changes. And this this can still get way bigger than a bunch of Nimrods. You know. I mean, Nimrod still has a lot to combo with. I think you still have to. You still have to think about what you want to do. Oh yeah, you can Galactus. We're not gonna count Galactus, you know. But this, but but with Nimrod, you have to have you know those destroy cards in your hand, and you have to have the power to use them. But you have to have the power to use them after you play Nimrod. And how many games do you do you just you know you get Nimrod like late? You get him so late, and you've been waiting to get him, and you just can't do anything. Whereas with Phoenix Force. You can you can you can still do other stuff and not have to worry about it as much. I think the Nimrod is actually kind of a way because you have to make. Oh, do I have do I have Nimrod? I hope I do. Uh, you know, you know what I mean. Okay. Um, Nicholas Fury, another example. So this card actually took a different take. This card actually, I'm, I'm I want to make it a two. Like I really do. It's definitely it's funny how both Miles and Nick Fury had their time to shine. They were both crystal tier cards a while back. I don't think any of the season pass cards are crystal tier anymore, by the way. You know what I mean? I don't think it's um I don't think it's uh you know 
So yeah, Fury was Fury was so bad. You said somebody has to be C. Who's gonna be C? I don't. I think that they're all good now. I think that all the cards are good now. You you sit here and you tell me who is C. There there are no bad season pass cards right now. They changed the bad ones, and you know why they did that. You know why they did that. They did that. <laughs> because people were complaining. They were like, yo, these season pass cards suck. I paid money for these season pass cards. And then they they, they changed and made them better. Um, I mean, if anybody was C, I mean, right now, to me, Hitmonkey is one of the weaker cards, I think. Um, but I think that's fine. Ghost Fighter. Ooh, you know what? We are, we do have a bunch. It, it's tough to do this though. You have to understand it is tough. There's, I think they're just all A tier now. Like Ghost Spider, I think is. Ooh, Ghost Spider is so fantastic though. And this ain't even a real Ghost Spider. The one I need is one cost. This ain't even. I don't have a. I don't have the variant for Ghost Spider. But Ghost Spider now is one. Is a one, two. You know. Ghost Spider gives you the ability to move things to the right, and that is so so crazy. Something that you've just play you can move to the right and she can be she can be played in so many decks is is she the first movement card that would be omega level yo my my, my air conditioner just closed my door to my room it just scared the shit out of me not not happy i don't like that i'm a home alone <laughs> don't do that <laughs> You say Fury is C personally? You think you think Fury is C? Then you go play against the Devil Dinosaur. Um, <laughs> he only gets uh, played in Devil Dino, and even if that's that's the deck that he's in, you know, that's the, that's his deck that he makes. I mean, Modok's only played in discard decks. He's a discard card, you know. I mean, what other cards would benefit from Nick Fury besides Quinjet and Dinosaur? You know what I mean? This is such a versatile card. I I think Ghost Spider can definitely be up here, but but I think we need to make some changes though if we do that though, because we definitely have these. We there are, I, there are no crystal tiers now. There are no crystal tiers. All cards have been all these are all season pass cards now. We don't have a crystal tier anymore. I'm trying to think of what what else we can like. I don't. I I feel like this is just a solid. They have solid cards now. You said Deadpool is an A. Deadpool is a very good card. You just have to get him and get the other thing with him. All oh, those cards with card combos though. What even is Crystal? Isn't that like a cubic zirconium yo? Deadpool is this fast card. He's not. That De Deadpool is not up here. You think dead? You think Daredevil is A tier? Um. So here's the thing. I guess every everything can't be A tier. We have. I think we at least have to have some B. Now having C tier, we just don't have anything that's bad right now. You know, all of these cards do their own thing and they do their own thing well. You know what I mean? You think Phoenix is B tier? I don't think so. I think Phoenix Force is a very good card and they made it better so quick. When it first came out, it was not that good, but we did not do the season pass around that time, so. I, I think that this is it. You gotta introduce a curve to your grading. How? <laughs> Everything is so good. I mean, if I if I do so if I do a curve. Then Hitmonkey's gonna be down here. Like this. This is this is like the best thing I can think to do. That that's the only way I, nothing is bad now. Yeah. Phoenix Force is extremely good. That that's all I can do right there. Is move those cards down a bit. Cause nothing in Omega is gonna be dropped. <laughs> And I think the A tier cards are still good. Black Panther in in the um the Sandman deck with Arnold Zola, my God. Wasn't Ghost Water changed to one two? It was. I don't have it. Just imagine to one two. Well, you guys told me I gotta do a curve. What you want me to do? 
Do you do you think? Uh, it's such a, it's such a tough it's a, season passes are so hard to um actually like do. Modok could be B. Ugh, I don't think Modok is B. Do you not know what Modok? Do you know what Modok did for Modok is like Modok is like the Malcolm X of discard cards, my guy. Modok is like the Malcolm X of discard cards, and and I'm just, I'm just saying, like, come on now, you can't you can't say that, dude. Modok Modok makes discard viable now. If you're if you're running a discard deck and you don't have Modok. You're kind of you're kind of screwing the pooch. Is how I feel. You swap Nick Nick Fury and Nimrod. No man, Nick Fury is good now. Nick Fury is great in a Zabu deck. He has so much versatility, especially as a four five. I don't think so, man. No, you got. When's the last time you guys played against the Devil Dinosaur Nick Fury deck? You think Nick Fury is way too high? I don't think so. I think that after the change they, they gave him, him inside of a dark cock de um, devil dinosaur deck is just very good. And you and it the, the amount of RNG you get is so good with him because you don't know what your opponent is going to have. I, I haven't watched a TV series, so maybe you were. You don't think Nick Fury is better than Hitmonkey. I mean, Hitmonkey's only good when you're playing him in a certain type of deck, too. And like you said, now he is like an Electro as well. What do you mean? Fury is fine, but not A tier. C sounds right. Uh, I think that he was just so bad when he was a 5'7". And now that he is a four five, I just think he's because he's technically not even a four five. With Zabu, he's a three five. And if you and if you're playing that Zabu Quinjet deck, it is kind of crazy. So Omega Nebula Zabu and Surfer, you think so? I'm trying to, you know what? I'm trying to think now. We do have wave up in Omega level. You know what? I will do this. I will do this. I don't think wave is as good as she was. But she's still better than a lot of these cars still though. I don't think wave is as good as she used to be. I think, I think that wave is now not as she's she's like super good when you're playing her but also not good in the deck she used to be it's it's kind of weird right wave is one of the best cards in the game arguably better now in some ways and that's the thing about it she's she's better but worse she used to be better when she when you could do stuff like death wave and whatnot but how often do you see wave now besides when you're playing a ramp deck that's all you're that's all you see her in it used to be a it used to be you would play wave in a deck that's the things are getting discounted and you you have the advantage you have less of an advantage now when you play wave you have the same advantage the other person has unless you have let's say have something like dr doom or something like that she ain't in my tribunal deck all the time she was literally the bounce counter for the past month that is true she was the bounce counter man every time i felt like i played wave i just never saw never saw bounce this here is anti-bounce that's true but playing a card hoping that you see a deck is it's kind of it kind of sucks you know what i mean but these are look hey guys so look let me tell you something we're gonna start doing these tier lists like every like two months or whatnot because the season pass cards change um so this is i think that this is how i want to sit for now nothing's crystal tier i think we got a lot of a tier cards and omega level cards are still good we still see a lot of surfer a lot of zabu zabu is really hard to make a bad card out of nebula is still a great card ghost spider they just changed it at one drop and she's just so versatile and good you know daredevil i think he's good in in like He's good in decks that require what he's doing, but what is like that? That's about it. He's good in Galactus, a Gamora deck, 
Um, and he's also good in Professor X. That you know, I think that's that's good. I would agree with you guys. Maybe I'll bring Miles Mora Morales down to B tier. He was really good in that discard deck. That's about it. Nimrod, Hit Monkey. I wish I could put Nimrod up higher, and I do consider him to be a B tier. But we, you guys said we had to skew the deck, spread it out a little bit. So there you go. Like you can, I know that these cards have many different things. You know, they do many different things. And I think that everybody is gonna have different opinions, but you guys know the thing that really matters is my opinion. <laughs> and, and you know, I think that this really represents uh, Loopy Fist. And you guys gotta know, it's tough. It's tough for me to put Nimrod down here. All you guys trying to defend the hell out of Nimrod, it's tough for me to put him down there. I love destroy cards. Come on, guys. Come on, you know what? This is hard, this is tough for me. Exactly, there is also bias both in what you uh, grade personal plays and what your team, yeah, come on guys. I think that this is, if you guys disagree with me, if you guys disagree with me, go make your own tier list and I want you, oh, how about this? I'm gonna put a video up of this, hopefully tomorrow, right? I want you guys, if you all disagree, all 93 of you guys, Go comment on my video and give me the tier list that you will put these season pass cards in. How about that? And make sure you like too. <laughs> oh shit. You guys gotta make your own, man. 